Hello and welcome to Century 21's quarterly report. My name's John from Tomasini. I thought I might answer a few questions that we get asked as real estate agents, such as how's the market? Or what can we expect from the market in 2018? What I've done is just to cover as much as possible in a short amount of time, I'd like to let you know there's a huge shortage of property stock available along the coast at the moment. There's a very simple reason for this. There are more people coming to the coast than there are people selling. The simple fact is that people are now living here more permanently and they're less inclined to leave. Driving this trend is the amount of people coming out of the capital cities. A lot of that buyer market is made up of empty nesters and people in the retirement demographic come in to enjoy this lovely part of the coast. And who could blame them? A lot of these buyers are looking for quality property. They want luxury finishes, views, and a well-positioned property. This is probably why we've seen so much activity and record prices in the prestige property market. The good news is, is that this trend is likely to last for some time to come. What we are seeing in the investment market is that buyers are still very savvy and are looking for decent growth or rental yields. Some investors are looking further afield outside the normal search area to find those returns, as some feel the market may have reached its peak for the meantime. In 2017, we saw banks restrict their investment loan portfolios based on the recommendations put forward by APRA. However, we haven't really seen a huge reduction in investment purchasing since the change, but maybe this will be more evident in 2018. As you would have seen over the busy holiday period, the coast was absolutely teeming with holiday makers who are filling up accommodation on the coast. We've heard great occupancy reports from resorts, holiday lets, and those utilizing the Airbnb app. In all, it's great to see people coming to the coast and spending money in our local community. A small but significant factor making the coast a popular lifestyle choice for business owners is the promise of fast MBN internet services. We're yet to see some of that fast internet, but the fact they have announced their MBN service is enough to encourage people to work from home more often and commute less to the main CBD areas. With less cars on the road, we'll hopefully see less congestion, which seems to be impacting some parts of the coast and the Bruce Highway. In the not too distant future, we can expect the upgrade of the Sunshine Coast Airport, which will allow more international flights directly into the coast. This will have a significant impact on tourism and increase business and traffic in the suburbs close to the airport, particularly ones located between Coulomb and Twin Waters. So keep an eye on those areas for future growth and improved rental yields. The upgrade will also be good news for those who are FIFO workers residing on the coast. New land releases and housing still seems to be selling rather well, particularly in areas like Bridgin Springs and Bridgin Breeze. Every time you drive through these estates, there always seems to be a new house being constructed. There's still quite a lot of demand from younger families looking to buy in the $500,000 to $700,000 market, which seems to be entry level in those areas these days for first and second home buyers. The great facilities on offer in these estates makes them highly attractive to young families, particularly when there are childcare facilities, parks, sporting fields and local cafes nearby. There's still a number of lots to be sold, but once completed, I think we'll see some growth in those areas, as there'll be no more land to develop in the near future. Having said that, buyers coming to the coast are still looking for value for money. And as we see some of the capital city markets come off the boil, it's likely sellers in those city hubs will adjust their pricing to meet the demand in the city markets. In turn, this will change the budgets of buyers coming to the coast, but only slightly in my opinion. In my experience, it takes a while for our market to feel the effects of a downturn in the capital cities. And while stocks remain low on the coast, this will prolong that impact even further. I think it's safe to say that prices will remain steady on the coast for some time to come, particularly in the highly sought beachside suburbs. This year, we'll see a lot of speculation over interest rates and a threat of an interest rate rise. I mean, straight away this year, we've seen news outlets, newspapers, websites harping on about an interest rate rise, but nobody really knows when we'll see an increase, whether it be mid-year, the end of the year, or next year. Nobody really knows at this stage how it'll be speculated about all year round, so we all have that to look forward to. So overall, pretty good news for property owners on the coast. As real estate agents, we've been very excited about how high property prices have been on the coast due to the low supply of stock. In some areas, there's actually more agents than properties to sell. So no doubt you'd be bombarded by real estate agents chasing you to sell your house. But that is a natural reaction of there being low supply of stock and plenty of demand. 
Well, that wraps up our quarterly report. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions about the market in your area, please contact us at Century 21 Colley Hay Group and we'll do our best to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to giving you another market report soon.